हाय फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट स्टेबिलिटी कंडीशन व्हाट इज मीन बाय स्टेबिलिटी व्हाट आर द स्टेबिलिटी जोन्स एंड व्हाट इज द स्टोरेज कंडीशंस इन द स्टेबिलिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज मीन बाय स्टेबिलिटी स्टेबिलिटी मींस टू परफॉर्म द लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट सेफ्टी इफिकेसी एंड प्योरिटी टू चेक द सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट फॉर ए लॉन्गर पीरियड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द purity efficacy safety with respect to the climatic condition that is we can say that the stability the major guideline for the stability if we can say that or discuss that is ICH Q1 R2 in this guideline guidelines such as there are number of conditions storage conditions or then the stability conditions so we will discuss one by one so product to be stable in the different different climatic zones because when the product is manufactured it will not be in like suppose one country not in india not in europe not in us not in africa like that overall the world there are different different climatic conditions so in that particular climatic conditions our product to be stable and to evaluate of this stability it is called the stability condition of the product we will see how this will be monitored under which category it will become and the what are the climatic zones I, as per ICH there are climatic zones like zone 1, zone 2, zone 3, zone 4 in zone 1 that is the temperate 21 degree centigrade and 45 percent RH the countries are like North America, Europe, Japan, China and temperate parts. Zone 2 that is the subtropical and Mediterranean 25 degree centigrade 60% RH. That is Mediterranean countries, Southern USA, parts of America. Zone 3 it is called like uh, 30 degree centigrade 35% RH. Middle East, North Africa, parts of India and south america so india comes under zone 3 hot and dry zone 4 in zone 4 hot and humid zone 4 a 30 degree centigrade 65 percent rh southeast asia central africa south america and less humid parts zone 4 b 30 degree centigrade 75 percent rh See the zone 4, two zones 4A and 4B. In 4A, 30 degree centigrade, 65% RH. In zone 4, 30 degree centigrade, 75% RH. Equatorial regions, dense rainforest areas like parts Asia, Africa, and South America. These are the zones. Understood? Zone 1, 2, 3, 4, and in 4, there are two zones. However, there are the climatic conditions if we can say that these zones so our product to be stable suppose if manufactured in india it should be stable in different different climatic conditions suppose product to be manufactured in africa it is to be stable in different different conditions the general case what are the conditions are there in stability like long term intermediate and accelerated long term means 25 degree centigrade 2% 2 degree plus minus centigrade and 60% RH plus minus 5% RH limit. Second condition in long term also 30 degree centigrade plus minus 2 degree centigrade 65% RH plus minus 5% RH. This long term stability condition to be monitored around 36 month 48 month but minimum 12 months data to be submitted during the regulatory filing. Second condition is that intermediate condition, intermediate stability condition. In that condition, 30 degree centigrade plus minus 2 degree centigrade, 65% RH plus minus 5% RH, 6 month data at least required. Okay. This condition is also studied for uh, even uh, 36 months, 48 months, but minimum 6 month data to be required for the submission. Third condition is that accelerated stability condition. In that condition, 40 degree centigrade plus minus 2 degree centigrade, 75% RH plus minus 5% RH. 
This is also required minimum six months stability data for the submission of the drug product. Now we have seen zones and the stability conditions like long term, intermediate and accelerated. Now apart from this, if suppose we manufacture the drug, what is mean by in the stability we are going to check? So stability in the stability what we are going to check? like your product performance, safety, efficacy, purity, purity in the sense of there should not be any impurity observed, the product should not be degraded even though oh, from beginning to the 36 month, 48 month, our assay should be within limit. Yes, over a period it will be quite degraded at 0.5%, 1%, but if the limit of assay is 95 to 105 degree percent or percentage in that scenario our product till stability or 36 month or 48 month that product should be within the range 95 to 10 degree okay so 95 to 105 percent is the assay limit and in that 105% assay limit may be your product at the over a period 36 month 48 month may be the uh, assay value will be up to 100 99 98 but it should not fall down below 95 it fall down 95 means the product is failed so in this scenario how we are going to change check the stability conditions in this scenario, there are different different interval like 0 month, 3rd month, 6 month, 9 month, 12 month, 18 month, 24 month, 36 month, 48 month. Like that, there are different different intervals for the stability testing of the product. In this all period, we are monitoring our product. It should not degrade. It should not fail in the assay. Impurity should not observe. However, the appearance of the product should not change means suppose white color tablet it should not like blackish yellowish if it is observed it will indicate that the product is going to fail in the appearance test however apart from this during the appearance test we have to check other conditions as well like assay resolution rs value all these things thickness hardness diameter or thickness hardness also given we are monitoring but major contribution assay and impurity rs factor is increasing or not that is the major contribution in the stability condition so during this stability condition what other things we are going to check other thing means pack size maybe blister pack maybe aluminum pack maybe bottle pack maybe drum pack maybe alloy pack the pack which we have packed the product final product which is going to be into the market same product to be placed into the stability condition and during this interval we have to withdraw the product as per stability calendar stability planner when we put this product on the stability we have to make the planner according to that planner we have to withdraw the sample and given to the QC for the analytical purpose QC will check different different conditions of the product and different different stages of the product it will be checked like a product or appearance assay dissolution then uh, rs degradation all these things product should not be blackish product should not be yellowish lip test should be passed all parameters should be within limit when all this study goes up to 36 48 month if the product is stable up to 48 month some company is giving 48 month shelf life some company is giving 36 month shelf life but if suppose 48 months product data is available we can give 48 month stability shelf life even though after expiry plus one year also product is studied it means that whenever product in the market suppose three years shelf life and going to expire in 
2020. It doesn't mean that on the same date product will expire. Over a period of shelf life plus one year, product is monitored, studied for the stability condition. Sometimes if one year also product is stable, we can extend the shelf life. But we are trying to keep three year, four year shelf life maximum. We are generating the data for the evaluation of the product study and the climatic conditions what is going to impact on the product. So that is the intention to check whether any climatic condition, whether any pack size change, it may impact on the product or not. If it is not impacted in long term accelerated condition, the product is stable. It means your product is stable up to the shelf life. And based on the shelf life, we can supply the product into the market. When the product is marketed, we can check the stability condition, we can check the shelf life and why it is required. Because sometimes if the product is manufactured and sale into the market, if the stability is more, it indicates that product purity, safety, efficacy is completely there and full of covered or available till the shelf life. Second thing, we will have an additional margin like one year, suppose 24 months, 36 months, 48 months. Means we can keep the product up to 48 months in the market if the low consumption product is there means sometimes low consuming product, low demandable product if we manufacture and if that shelf life is less it will be immediately within 18 months, 24 months it will be finished from the market or it will be used in the market but it is low consumable, not sold out so it will may be a loss because of shelf life less if the shelf life is higher side your product you can keep in the market may be it is a low demandable or low required but it will be kept in the market for a longer period and that is the benefit to the company means one batch is manufactured you can keep keep in the market for four years three years so business availability is there no losses no rejection no failures and it indicates the product quality as well so during the stability study we have to monitor the climatic conditions stability conditions even though the pack size, pack style, all these things monitored and controlled till the shelf life. And if your product is stable till the shelf life, it means product have a good quality and we can supply in the different, different market where that type of climatic zones is also required or conditions is also required. So that is all about the product stability, why the product is required, how the manufacturer and mostly when the product is manufactured, first three batches to be placed on the stability for minimum 12 month long term and ACC and intermediate for 6 six months this data to be available for the product submission over a period you can do the study till the 36 month long term 48 month that is not the issue but minimum 12 month data is required and because of that when all the data is available we can say that yes the new manufactured product is stable for a is this period if this stability is not there you have to rework on the product we have to again visit the R&D the product to be modified product to be developed and again manufacture the batches it will be a huge loss to the organization if the stability period because three batches already manufactured we are studying up to the shelf life means suppose 24 months and if that batch is failing into the 18 month how we can sell into the market because 18 months is a very short shelf life maximum two years to be there but some of the products we which is very delicate that may have 18 months but the most of the category should be kept in the market or should be available in the market up to the 36 months 48 months that is the benefit so in this way we have studied about the product stability ICH guideline climatic condition stability condition why it is required how many batches to be kept first three batches new product to be monitored or if any change in the product formula equipment or batch size 
in that condition also we give the product in stability these are the requirements these are the major requirements what are like api change equipment major equipment change by side change even though you are a uh, formula change or new product all these condition product to be kept on the stability to study for a longer period that is the importance and essential guidelines recommendation we have to do this stability conditions so i hope you like this video if you like mention in the comment what next video you want like share and subscribe thank you namaste